What was it like working with the Tories? Um, often quite difficult, but uh, the relationship was always business-like. It was, um, of course, they had their agenda, we had ours, but I had a department with eight ministers, two Lib Dems, six Conservatives, and although we often fundamentally disagreed about things, we actually had a very good creative business relationship. I said, you know, leave your weapons at the door and concentrate on delivering results in the areas where we have common ground. The Northern Powerhouse concept, um, quite a clever phrase, it's so far we've seen most of the action in relation to Manchester and that's at least partly because they had an extremely dynamic uh, chief executive who pushed the agenda very far and has got some results from it. Uh, and I think Leeds, uh, or the Leeds area, is another which is being quite progressive. I, I, I don't see why um, Tyneside, the various councils around Tyneside, uh, with Sunderland, with Gateshead um, and others, shouldn't collaborate. I mean, unfortunately, I do know from my dealings in the North East that there was a long history of petty squabbling be uh, between local councils. Unless they get past that, then they're never going to be in a position to take advantage of the rather limited powers that are now available. Well, I strongly suspect it's a, a device that may not have much substance, that um, is intended to, to win uh, the Conservatives a few votes in the North. They don't have many, uh, certainly not in Manchester, and certainly not in the North East. Whether there's any money attached to this substance is another matter. They may well devolve funds that they're already spending on local government to, um, to local authorities up here, and, and probably in principle that's a good thing. But uh, you, you may find that all that's happening is that the local authorities are being invited to take the blame for the cuts that are inevitably coming. Have you stunned by a decision to raise tuition fees? I don't think we had any alternative whatever. It was a terrible mistake to have made the pledge. But as I reminded the meeting a few minutes ago, the Labour government twice promised not to introduce tuition fees or raise them and did so. And people forgave them for it. Um, we were not forgiven for it. Um, but the policy was absolutely right because it made it ensured that universities were properly funded it was progressive nobody pays anything until they graduate and have an income of 21,000. Yeah. Do you think that decision was a main cont contributor to the party's decline in popularity? Well it certainly did a lot of damage to the perceived sense of trust and uh, you know it's a lesson for people going to elections don't promise things you know you can't deliver. Mm -hmm. Do you think the, uh, the Lib Dems can win the students and young people's votes back? Well, it will, it will be a, a slow process, but I do go to university campuses. I find there is a you know, significant number of people who are looking for a um, party with liberal values, with social democratic values, and see there's an enormous gulf between the right-wing uh, Cameron government and the semi-Marxist leadership of the Labour Party, and they want some alternative, and I think we can provide that. And what's the effect of restricting international students having on their unis in the economy? Well, it's a very, very bad policy, and I fought against it very hard in government. The, Theresa May wanted to introduce a cap on the number of university students from overseas, which I managed to stop. But they did bring in tighter visa policies, which have harmed universities. I have no doubt about that. I mean, university students are from overseas are good for the finances of universities, but also I think for the quality of the university experience, and many of them stay on, um, or could stay on, and make a big contribution to the economy. So the using university, overseas students from universities as a kind of battering ram for immigration policy has been very, very retrograde, and I think Theresa May is doing great harm. Do you think the Labour are unelectable now? I think they are unelectable under the current leader. I'm sad because I think it means we not, not have an effective opposition and we badly need one, but I fear they are. So you think the Tories are to dominate for the... For I the think they could well do so. I mean, I think it's very much up to the opposition parties to start to collaborate to prevent that happening. Um, but I, I fear we may well be in for a period of one-party state, and it worries me greatly.